Hey guys, welcome back to another video. Today we're talking about healthier choices management, taking some HCMC. Right now I'm actually on the month time frame chart. I'm explaining why I'm on this and you know why we should be paying close attention in terms of the volume. In this video, I'm going to cover the technical analysis as always. I'm also going to talk about kind of some of the short data that I have seen and some of the institutional ownership that I have seen. So make sure you stick around. The technical analysis will be later on in this video. Firstly, I'm going to cover kind of the short report and the institutional ownership. So firstly, we're going to talk about institutional ownership. Now here you can see this is on Fintel um, for HCMC and for institutional owners. Right now you can see that there are 13 in total and all 13 are loan only zero short zero long slash short so hedging so they're all long only um and so you know i want to talk about this first firstly that obviously is um a good indication you know generally when you see it being all long it obviously means that investors have a good positive outlook in, for the company and so that 13 long only is um you know it's quite decent there are obviously um, points that I want to point out. So I'm not going to say just crazy now. This is all, oh, all the institutions are long. Bye, bye, bye. You know, whilst I still think HMC is a good stock, obviously make sure you do your own due diligence. I'm not a financial advisor. So make sure you take my opinions with a grain of salt. I'm going to cover some of the points why, you know, whilst it is obviously good that all 13 institutional owners are 13 longs, you know, so, you know, what the two, the two good points, firstly, there are obviously institutional owners that are interested in HMC, so that's always good. And then, you know, secondly, these institutional owners are all long. So you know, those are the two good points. And I'm going to talk about, you know, some of the points that you should obviously be looking out for. Firstly, it is, you know, they don't actually own a large amount. So the outstanding shares is 308 mil or rather um, 308 billion shares of um, HCMC, they only own 438 um, shares. So that's a very, obviously a very low amount. The institutional value is actually only, so this is 525, it's not actually 525 USD. This is in the thousand dollar unit. So it's actually 525,000. So, you know, for HCMC with such a large market cap, you obviously guys understand that, you know, this value is nothing compared to um, you know, how much HCMC is worth. And so whilst it's obviously good that there are obviously interest from institutional owners and they are all positive interest, you know, you need to understand that these are very low um, amount right now. And so these aren't any game changing amount. I, you know, I doubt they could even change um, even if all of them came to selling, obviously if they used all their power, they could change it. But with what, how much power they have right now, um, in terms of the stock, you know, it really isn't going to make much of a difference. You know, if we go back into um, HMC, even if we just look at kind of the daily volume, just look at now, like the market's only gone. So today's actually a low volume day, but if you know, look on some of the past data where it's 1.4, 1.6 billion volume, you know, what they have right now could change, you know, bits of the outcome, but really they can't even manipulate the market. So it is nothing big. However, I just think it's interesting that, you know, obviously it's good that there are institutionals you can you guys can feel free to go on fintel um and kind of these are these are the companies that are obviously interested but you know i'm just saying that it's obviously uh, interested to see that there are good um firms there are firms out there who are obviously interested in hmc but you know obviously the the point you, you shouldn't be missing here is that they obviously aren't invested into a large amount and so that is what i'm talking about and you know one other point before we kind of go away from the institutional ownership is this graph here so I'm um, looking at this graph right now and, you know, I'm a bit um, confused in terms of this graph. I'm going to tell you why I'm confused. I'm going to tell you about some the uh, why I think, you know, even if even if we can't clear this up, it's obviously good. I want to talk about why. But, you know, if we look at this, so down here, it says July 14th, July 15th, July 16th, etc. all the way to July 21st. And, you know, I personally don't know whether in terms of this is talking about July of 2014, July of 2015, July 2016th, or if he's talking about, you know, it says here date. So is it talking about um, July the 14th, July the 15th? Because currently, you know, we're only on the 15th of July. We're not, you know, and it goes to July 21st. So I personally think we're talking about, um, you know, the the year 
Um, I've been looking around and um, I haven't seen anything in terms of what it's talking about. Maybe this could be a 2019 graph um, talking about the date of July in 2019. I'm not actually sure. If anyone has actually any ideas, please comment down below and you know tell me about it because I'm actually very intrigued. However, the point I want to make out here is um, the correlation in terms of the clothing price and the ownership. So this green bar, this is the ownership of institutional and the blue line here is the closing price. As you can see here, you know, back in, we're gonna use July the 14th, whether that's 2014th or whether that's the 14th, you know, we don't know, but I'm using July 14th here. You can already see that, um, you know, there are some institutional, so there are some ownership when the price was obviously um, at a high price. However, the correlation you can see is here, as the price kind of gets lower, like it is now, there are more and more institutional, and you know, at times like this, um, especially, this particular date i'm using date here because again like i said i'm not actually quite sure where if it's year or particular day but in terms of the date here you know when the price is low we are seeing a surge obviously of um institutional ownership in terms of hcmc and that obviously just implies that you know even institutional sees that it's a good price to buy at hcmc when it gets low we are seeing you know just a bit of um you know interest from institutionals i'm not going to say that's a big thing like i said it's i don't think it's personally a big thing because the value they actually hold is not that big however you know it just it, again like i just say it's just interesting that we are seeing institutionals being interested so that is something i feel like we should be looking out for the thing i really want to talk about today is kind of the short data for hcmc and you know it really is interesting for hcmc um and the reason why i say this is you can see the volume shorted and you know something that really caught my attention is pretty much the short volume you, you guys can see today so yesterday 23.18 the day before that so the 13th we're seeing close to pretty much 40 percent and then we see another low 20 um 23 today that was actually a high 37 and then we'll see 30 64 but generally it's been quite low and you know if we go back so if we go back to July the 13th, so that's the day where it almost reached 40, 40. So July 13th, um, you know, it's this particular day. And this is the day where we saw a green day. So, um, you know, I personally think right now we may be, you know, I've always said this about there are obviously short sellers. However, I think now it's becoming to the point where we could potentially be targeted by short sellers. So on this particular day where we saw more volume coming in, you know, this is when we see volume coming in, it's obviously a good indication that the price is about to obviously take off because there are a lot of people coming to buy into this stock. And, you know, generally we take that momentum and we go higher. You know, if there was no short sellers, if we only had buying, buying momentum, that all the volume was mostly biased, then we obviously see HMC at an even higher price. However, you know, just like I show here on the 13th, when we saw that volume coming in, we then see a large short volume coming in. And, you know, again, that's 40% of volume shorted. And so that just begs the question is, you no, know, is there someone who's obviously not happy of seeing HCMC at a higher price? So, you know, for those of you who don't understand, it's obviously that, you know, if we have that volume coming in, if it's on the day where it could shift the momentum, kind of the balance of HCMC because of the volume that, had, that we had on that day, but then, you know, then a huge short volume coming in for HCMC, you know, like I said, it's just quite um, weird that it is happening because, um, you know, it, 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 it seems like we are being targeted by some short sellers. Um, I'm curious to hear what everyone's thought on it is, but, you know, I personally think that it's quite weird. And you know, if you go back to it, there are obviously other days where it's being very high, you know, another day where it's high volume, um, 3.2 million, and then we're at 30%. This day was obviously, you know, something else as well. 37 is a low volume day, so July the 9th. We'll go look at July the 9th. Uh, and, you know, July the 9th, it was actually on the day where the RSI was below, um, you know, 30, where they're really trying to break that 0 0.009. So, you know, it just shows, like, from what we see right now, you know, it just shows, like, when there are people trying to... Um, obviously shift the momentum trying to bring that bullish momentum in for hcmc trying to bring the price up we see a group of people you know really trying to stop that price down and when we see hcmc on the verge so on the 9th of july obviously we wanted to keep above 0 0.0009 like i said because it's a very strong support but on that particular day you know we saw 
so July 9th, we saw 37, 11% um, percent of short sellers. So, you know, on that day when we're trying to keep it above 0 0.09 was the day we saw such a large short seller percentage again. You know, all of these kind of just adds up to seeing that we are potentially seeing short sellers kind of coming to kick in um, and really trying to bring the price down. And so, you know, that's what I'm saying about there are a lot of short sellers right now at HMC. What's good is that obviously we are all united as one. You know, we're obviously standing strong, we're buying, but you know, it really is just kind of interesting and weird that every time when we come to a crucial point of trying to keep that price above a certain spot, we see so many people, you know, trying to bring it down. And then when we're trying to bring a price to a new high, we are also seeing so many people coming in to keep that price down and not reaching that high. So you know, it really is just weird. Again, you know, like I said, so the July the 8th was obviously the day where we saw a lot of volume. People tried to bring it below the 200 MA. You know, we saw a huge volume. That was the day when we'd reach um, 0 0.009. So that was a lot of volume trying to break that 0 0.009 again. You know, all of this adding up just shows like short sellers are really trying to come in on, you know, these critical days, trying to bring that price down. And so again, you know, this is what I'm saying is that you guys got to understand right now, the price, obviously, in terms of this is just you know technical analysis of data we're getting right now. You know there are people trying to break zero point zero zero nine. If for those of you who still isn't you know sure, looking at this data right now, looking at you know the first time it's reached zero point zero zero nine and the second day where we saw a candle like this, you know there are it just shows zero point zero zero nine right now is a deciding outcome in terms of how HMC's price will do, and you know we're just seeing people just trying to short it below zero point zero zero nine. And obviously, people understand that we need to keep it above 0 0.009. So that is the battle of, you know, this whole 0 0.009. Do apologize for saying this so much, but I hope you guys get understand the point. Now, in terms of technical analysis and why I started the video off with the monthly analysis, I kind of want to talk about it. And I want to talk about the, the volume. So you can see that, you know, this whole HMC, the volume really picked up on the 1st of December. You can already see the volume is way above, you know, any of the previous volume. But the big price change came in on, you know, during January when we saw that first price change, when we finally see HCMC kind of breaking out of this, you know, consolidation in this level of, you know, zero to um, one. And then, um, you know, that's when we saw it coming up. And now we've, you know, obviously are settling down at this particular price range of 0 0.009 to 0 0.001. But one thing I want to talk about, and it's, you know, people are saying, would it drop any more? Well, you know, we can see multiple times that we are seeing um, it dropping. We're testing the 0 0.09, obviously. However, in terms of answering, do I think it will drop more? I personally don't think so. And I'll be explaining why, obviously, with the volume that I've been talking about. So on this particular day on January, you know, we saw this much volume coming in. And so, you know, while some people may have sold off, obviously, during here, but if we want to see the price, you know, drop down, obviously we don't, but I'm saying if we if we are going to see the price dropping down to this particular level, we have to see something of that matches this volume. However, we haven't, we've seen the price going down to this low, but we haven't seen any volume that matches the, the, you know, the volume that we had on January. And it just means that, you know, the people who have bought in during January, Jan January still understand, you know, the potential of HMC. And so they are personally not selling. And so that's why I think, you know, Whilst we are facing obviously short term difficulties of the price not going up, if we look at long term in a long term perspective, you know, the people who've bought here, the major volume still haven't sold. And so that's why I'm not worried about it. So that's what I'm talking about in terms of the monthly volume. That's why I think it's important. And yet, in terms of technical analysis, uh, if we look at the short term, today has been a low volume day. But, you know, again, we're testing that 0 0.009. We just closed a bit above that 200, um, the 200 MA yesterday, just a bit below rather. Um, but you know, nothing to fuss about here. We're just looking at standard technical analysis. As long as this low is settled, we'll really see the bullish momentum coming in for HCMC. But yeah, guys, that's it for this video, guys. Hope you guys did enjoy. If you guys did, make sure to press that like and subscribe button down below. Comment down below what you guys think about HMC. Comment down below what you guys want to see next. Other than that, enjoy your day.